Right. Like I said, this is supposed to be one of the, the better days. Uh, there is a walk that takes you up to the canal up that way. <clears throat> but today I'm just really doing a recce. Um, and it's raining, I can't really expose the camera for too long. But there's a railway line down there. You, there is a steam train you can get. <clears throat> I'm just really finding my bearings today. Um, it is a shame with the weather being... When it's, we haven't had any rain for ages and now it's raining because I've come away. Typical, isn't it? No access to bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge there, see? Far and something, the arrows fly, a deadly swarm to darken sky. Death from afar. Archers with the backbone of the English army from the late 13th century through to the mid 16th century. The low-born English archers destroyed the nobility of France in the early part of the Hundred Years' War, but in the War of the Roses the armies were evenly matched on both sides and large numbers of bowmen. And here, if we look carefully, as I didn't see it straight away, there's a bowlet. That's why people like my Duncan who got long fingers and we've got Fletchers in the family, which means like Archer. Um, could have easily been a bowman and he was t and he's tall, Duncan. Uh, it's in the jeans. So I'm just doing a bit of videoing. Anyway, what's happened today? It's the 16th of May 2017. I haven't really done much videoing as such. It is quite quiet, so this is an opportunity just to let people know what I'm up to. I drove up from Somerset today. I left about half past, half past four, five o'clock by the time I left Weston. Didn't really take too long. It wasn't too bad because I set off early. Um, it did go slow a bit on the M42. It was all quite straightforward. I didn't get lost. I've I headed straight for the battlefield um, and the, a small walk that I'm doing at the moment. Um, there are lots and lots of walks here and I hope to do the walk from my campsite over to here on another day. There's also churches to visit. Um, now we're coming up to another pole now, which looks like it's got cannon shot on it. There is a party of school children back at the centre, but they're probably having their lunch now. I haven't eaten anything for ages. I never do when I'm away. I usually lose half a stone. There were some people, they've disappeared. I don't know where they went, which walk they went. But there's a parallel walk down there which follows the railway. Or did follow the railway. Right, now here we've got some cannon. Cannons. Cannonballs. Flame and thunder. Soldiers flee. Acrid smoke. Devilry. Fire and brimstone. Both handguns and cannon were used during the War of the Roses. Jean Mollet, a Burgundy writer, tells us that Henry's mercenaries came under the fire from the king's artillery, forcing them to abandon a frontal assault and attack Richard's right flank, a manoeuvre which ultimately contributed to Henry's victory. An important scatter of lead cannonball has been found in the battlefield survey, and these can be seen in the exhibition centre. Experimental firing has shown us that solid cannon balls could be fired over one kilometre. Therefore, a lead cannonball fired from the white fence to your right could easily kill you at this distance and probably anyone standing behind you. What white fence? <sighs> There's a way down to the path. Now that leads to a canal. <sighs> That will be another walk. Now through there, through there we've got the, 
the standard of Richard III, the flags. There's a cow, weather vane, and there's, there's the standards. I'm on a circular walk. Just to get the bearings today. Because in theory, it could bucket down. <sighs> now this place would be completely different when it's half term. Or if it was the weekend. And if it was sunny. The, that's the only sort of bonus really when the weather isn't very good you get the place yourself you can do videoing I mean if there was loads of people walking now I wouldn't be able to do any videoing I know it's not very interesting just going down a lane at the moment but there are markers every now and again there's another one coming up now some of them tell you a little story some of them don't work And of course the thing is, I, am, I always do a lot, even on the day I've driven. You know, I've only had two hours sleep in the last 24 hours. And this always happens when I'm on, when I go away. I do a lot of driving. Then I don't like to waste the day, you see. I don't like to, not waste the day, but I don't like to... You know, time's special. I might end up walking up that track yet. I'm going to see what happens. <sighs> Quiet and troubled soul. Awake, awake. Arm, fight and conquer for fair England's sake. That's by Shakespeare. Quiet and troubled soul. Awake, awake. Arm, fight and conquer for fair England's sake. <sighs> I tried one of these hats on. I've got... I did try and take a picture of me. This is uh, Hack and Slay, number 11. Most 15th century soldiers fought on foot. The poorest wore padded jackets and iron helmets, while the richest would have a full harness of iron plate armour. I won't read it all. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute and take a photo.